Hi, this is Zach Mayer with the Bulletin Board Heroes here at Zach's Traders Cafe for Thursday, the 18th of January. Starting off with the FTSE 100, which is broken out of that rising trend channel that we had uh, from the end of October. It wasn't that convincing, even at the, the best of times, but uh, we've uh, retreated not only from the uh, area just under 7800, but the top of that falling trend channel from last February. The break of the 50-day line, the 7550, implied that uh, we'd at least try and test 7400, the November-December uh, support area. Below that, there's the worst case scenario to head down to as low as 7100, which is the floor of that February trend channel, and that could happen by the end of next month. On the positive side, RSI already close to the 30 level, so uh, on that basis, probably we're a day or two away and we bounce in the 7380 to 7480, uh, 7400 level over the next session or two. Moving on to the DAX, which uh, also broke down uh, yesterday, and uh, here the good news, I suppose, is that we've so far managed to uh, avoid hitting the 50-day moving average. That's 16,300. We were allowing down to 16,100, the old, uh, the old August-September resistance area. So so far, the DAX has uh, done rather well, slightly better than uh, hoped for. Uh, but we want to see an end-of-day close back above 16,500 to give us a, the chance of retesting a post-December resistance at 17. Thousand RSI below neutral 50, so we are on alert for another test of the or a test of the 50 day line over the next few sessions. Going on to the Dow, and uh, here we've escaped the uh, impossibly steep rising trend channel that we had there from October. We were factoring in that we would have to retest the 37,000 area, which has so far been done in a relatively okay way, you know, not, not too bad. I haven't gone below that particular number. But we want to see this market back above 37,500 to get it back on track for a push to uh, new highs above 38,000. Moving along to uh, Bitcoin, which is uh, supposed settling down after the ETF news, still uh, hugging the 50-day line in the floor of that rising tre trend channel there from August. The uh, support levels around 41,000, then 40,000, obviously the December support, and then the worst case would be down to 38. But we're looking for neckline resistance to break around 43,600 now, and then take us back to uh, a retest of January resistance, which was towards uh, 49,000, and that would hopefully happen over the next few weeks. RSI still below neutral 50, so still a chance of a probe towards 40,000 there. Moving along to the stocks and the cupboard uh, rather bare at the moment, as you would uh, probably expect. Uh, that's why we've got a stock which we don't normally have, or the type of stock we don't normally have, series power. Here the reason for inclusion is that we did have previously the idea that we, this was a broadening triangle base and that the target here could be up towards £2.50. Obviously that's uh, been approached very sharply today. And uh, the upside value here while we're above the old November resistance area in the... Uh, mid 220s on an end of day close basis so let's see if we can just hold on the right side of that 220 level moving along to a canadian overseas where we see some uh, new uh, people coming to the party in terms of the management uh, obviously it's a rather brave uh, looking move at the moment but recent resistance around 0.14 and we need to break that on an end of day close basis really to uh, suggest that uh, this is not just an ongoing sell-off for the stock uh, good news today from uh, DGI, and the shares have responded uh, well so far, or they had. Uh, here we've got what looks like a mid-move consolidation after the bear trap gap reversal that we saw in December. Ideally, we stay on the right side of uh, 0.19, which is recent support, and above that we're looking for up to 0.4 pence as soon as the end of next month, which is a 2021 resistance line projection. Stock that doesn't normally get uh, included here is DSL, DSW Capital, and here it looks like we've got a rising trend channel base, uh, interesting sideways shuffle there at the lows at the beginning of the month, and then an unfilled gap to the upside. Still looks as though there is a re-rate uh, in place here. Top of that channel there from back in August up to 72 pence, and that's our target for the end of next month, while we remain above uh, recent neckline resistance at 53 pence. Stock that some people seem to be getting excited about is e-therapeutics, and uh, I suppose they've been right so far. We had a bear trap gap reversal, uh, mid-moves consolidation breakout, and uh, another consolidation at our initial target there, around 16 pence. The longer we stay above 16 pence, the greater the chance of a, an upper parallel resistance line target there, as high as 25 pence by the end of next month, ideally. We stay on the right side of that uh, rising 200-day line at 14 pence. In fact, the 50 and 200-day lines both rising. So we've got a chance of being in the run-up to a golden cross sometime 
next month and that's normally the strongest part of the cycle. The next stock uh, we're looking at is Chromec and here we've had that trend line break from back in April. Obviously we broke above the uh, 50 day and 200 day moving averages earlier in the month and uh, above the 5 pence area looking for up to 7.5 pence by the end of next month or even sooner at the top of a broadening triangle in place since back in April, May. Rearbold Resources announced uh, money's coming in from Shell and uh, here we've had uh, the uh, a bear trap gap reversal so making a, a new low there uh, earlier in the month and then a key reversal to the upside yesterday and gapping up with a strong candle today. In fact uh, we, it could be a bear trap island reversal because we gapped down and then have gapped up so that's quite a strong signal. Um, it was interesting obviously that uh, last week we had the uh, requisition attempt uh, ahead of today's uh, news. Uh, the overall pattern here, a broadening triangle base, top of that triangle at 0.14 and we're looking for that by the end of next month, backed by the uh, the Bear Trap Island reversal and an uptrend line in the RSI window. A stock which I was toying with looking at yesterday, I promise, uh, was the Strategic uh, Minerals. Um, but here we've had a Bear Trap Gap reversal after a long time on a downtrend the old May support there, 0.12. Above that, we're looking for 0.25 by the end of next month. Ideally, we have an end of day or end of week close above the 200 day moving average at 0.15 ahead of a move to 0.25. On to the last couple, and uh, the first one is uh, Silver Bullet. And uh, this has been one that uh, I've been unique in championing. Rising trend channel there from June. And um, basically, we're still looking for the shares to deliver further upside, up to £1.70 by the end of next month while we're above recent December resistance at £1.26. Finishing off with uh, Thor Energy, which uh, is exciting if you like uranium. Uh, here we've had a, um, a gap through the rising 50-day moving average. That's a very strong uh, setup. And um, above that 50-day line, around 1.6 pence, but looking for 3 pence as soon as the end of uh, next month. The key here, I suppose, is getting back above the 200-day moving average, which we haven't been above properly since uh, late summer 2022. That's it for me today, more updates tomorrow.